Hello and welcome to the Gunman's color matching tutorial. In this video I'll be color matching this BMW Titan Grey with the Standox paint mixing system in solvent base coat. So this is what we call a spectro or a spectro photometer and you have to polish the panel up first which is what you saw me do just there. Now I'm placing the spectro down take your reading. As you can see if you don't place it down evenly then the reading won't be able to be taken so place it down correctly and you take three photos so you lift it up and then you take another one lift it up and then take your third photo then you enter the reading into the spectro when you've done there you go up to your computer plug the USB cable in you click on Genius up the top here, that will then link up to the Spectra. Type in the manufacturer, which is BMW, and then you click on Search. And that will scan the database for the best match to the photo that it's taken. Then we click on Result Comparison, and it will come up with a photo of what we have. And, and what they have on the database. So the one on the left is our car and the one on the right is what they have in their database. You can then click up the top here. I'll scroll through some more more colors here. So this is number one it will come up with the, the 10 best colors so you can click down on number two which actually looks a little bit better. We'll then have a look at a couple more colors too which start getting a little bit worse. So we'll go back up. Go back to our first one. And then if you click up the top here, you can see what it's going to look like after it's been shaded. The system will actually add and rem and add and remove certain tinters to improve the color for you. We then type in the amount we need, which I'm choosing 500 mils for this job, and we can then print out a label. Now I'm mixing up the colour, it has a list of the tinters that are in the colour. You then place the right amount of each tinter in. This is a pearlescent colour, it's got white pearl in it and it's also got metallic in it too. Just careful when you putting your tinters in you don't overdose because you can ruin the colour. We'll then mix it up at a 2 to 1 ratio with reducer or thinners, paint thinners. Um, I've been doing this for a while so I can just uh, thin it down just by eye. I don't actually go by the, the 2 to 1 ratio. I can figure it out just uh, by looking at the stick and looking how how quickly it will run off the stick and you know how how thin it is by that you can see you lift it out and you say oh yeah that might still be a little bit thick so I'll add a touch more reducer into it once we're happy we've got it all stirred up we'll grab the spray gun that we're going to paint the car with put it in the gun and we'll do a test card Try to replicate the same spray pan, uh, fan and spray pattern that you're going to do when you're painting the car because if you spray it on a little bit different, it will actually change the colour. If you, your air pressures and the distances from the panel can all adjust the, the way the colour comes out. You can just blow the air onto it in between coats and that'll help dry it. Um, 
and instead of putting clear coat over I'm just spraying it with a wax and grease remover I've found it's a good way of giving it a bit of <coughs> a bit of gloss without having to go to the bother of clearing all your test cards so to me this color looks quite blue at the moment um, it actually doesn't look really that good compared to what the um, the computer said it was going to come out like so we then refer to this color wheel so it, what's the opposite of blue would be the yellows and you can just uh, look at this color wheel it's very handy to to use when you're color matching so then we can go out to our tinting bank and grab the yellows and uh, green yellows to tint the color around and I'll come back out and start slowly putting a little bit of the color in just uh, take it easy at the start uh, when you're color matching just small amounts and then test how much that's done by spraying it out again and then you can add more need be which is actually what ended up happening here I didn't end up putting enough of this color in so this is a good way just to get an idea of how much it's changed it. You can look at it on the stick and you can say, okay, so that's done that. Maybe I'll need to put a touch more in or you can give it a flush out now with a bit of uh, thinners, paint thinners, just through the, flush it through the gun to get the old paint back out and then add your colour in back in and we can spray the card out again to see how it's going to look. And when I'm doing this colour card, I'm going to cover up a small section of the the card just so I can see how much it's actually changed it. When I'm over there at the car, I can say, well, this is how much I put in, this is how much it changed it, is it going in the right direction or is it not? As you can see, there's the, the line down there, so you can make a good judgment on whether or not it's changing correctly so I think it is going in the right direction but I still think it's looking a little bit too blue so I'll just go back and put the same colour in again about the same amount of those two same tinters which is yellow and red Spray it out again and we'll come back and have another look at the colour. Which to me is starting to go a little bit dark because I've ended up adding too much colour to it. So we have to go back up to the computer and say what's in this colour that's going to lighten it up. That's going to be the 812 Silver Dollar Fine, which is the silver. So we'll grab that out and put some of that in same thing we can just test it on the stick and yeah you can see that that's that's lightened it up but I've decided to put a little bit more in might want to go a little bit further than what I did originally and then we'll go and have another look I actually think uh, I put a little bit too much in that time I think it's gone a little bit too light so what I'll do is go back put a bit of black and blue in it now and I'm quite happy with the way that colors ended up coming up now so um, yeah that's uh, uh, four, four different changes and the colors done um, thanks a lot for watching this video um, if you like if you'd like to see this car being sprayed I've got another video uh, link to this you can click on at the end to watch that um, thanks again for watching this has been another gunman production goodbye